everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So today I'm bringing you the part two of our future figures. This, by the way, is based on the um, Japanese version of uh, Figure Fantasy. And um, I'm going to discuss two remaining classes that I have here, which is uh, Militarist and Specialist. Just in case you missed the part one, I'm going to put a link up there so that you, you can see it after you see the part two. And we'll start with our first militarist, which is Ai Hinohara. Okay, she is Night 9 and she's classified as S tier. And look at that design. Okay, cards flying around. Um, I like the theme of her costume as well. Um, pretty much very good detail, especially the base. Okay, so before I forget, let's start off with her attack. So increases normal damage. Uh, that's her basic attack. But for ultimate guides, it's kind of special. It's going to be attack one enemy and two others randomly. Applies debuffs. Fainting. Freezing. Burning. Minus 10 energy. Disarm and silence. So once you level up this skill, when you do it for the first time, all debuffs will be applied. Next is her passive. Enemies marked with the ultimate debuffs gets additional damage. So insane. Um, it stacks up and increase her attack speed as well. And the last one is her special, which is increased damage dealt by 15% when there are no enemies around. So again, her kit uh, based on solely on debuffs. And um, she's going to affect a lot of enemies on the other side so again it's really worth to level her ultimate up let's take a look at her 2d art guys so 2d art is kind of similar to her 3d art and by the way i love her 3d art more okay moving on to our next uh, militarist okay guys so we are here with yolanda so she's with let's red so she is also s tier her attack is additional damage, um, deals additional damage to the target when the target is burning. And her ultimate, guys, attacks current enemy, burns for 5 seconds. Attack speed increase for her as well if HP is at 70%, her own HP. And damage increase of 30% is HP is less than 70%. Also, she has um, HP absorption by 50%. So a lot of factors there once her her, her HP goes uh, beyond 70 or below, sev uh, below 70%. Okay, for her passive, after an ally uses her ultimate, attacks the current enemy and damage increases if the target is burning as well. So she's she has, she has an affinity for burning. So it's good that you have a burn or a burning team <laughs> around her so, so that you could maximize her. And her special, guys, is increased damage dealt by 15% when there are, there are no enemies around. So she can be a huge part of your burn team if, you're plan, if you plan to build one in the future. Okay, let's take a look at her 2D art. Again, very fancy 2D art throwing a lot of potions and uh, leaving a lot behind so she this is actually fun to look at and um uh sorry for that one as you can see the 3d art is spectacular guys she's actually leaving a note notebook here with i think this is a test tube so anyway that is it for yolanda and let's move on to loris for our next militarist Okay, so we have here Loris. So she is Knight 9 and she's classified as A tier. So attack for her is um, increases normal damage. Ultimate is marks furthest enemy. If the enemy dies, restores ener energy fully. Damage increases for the mark. If the mark dies, damage also is done to the adjacent allies. So passive is going to be 30% chance of activating during normal attack. Brown says damage increases damage by 30% uh, that can bounce up to two times. So if it hits a initial target, the bounce deals to other targets at the back up, up to two 
uh, deals uh, 30% more and also has a chance to stun. <laughs> that is why she can actually be a nuisance. Special is increases damage dealt by 15% when there are, there are no enemies around. So again, that is why she is going to be one of, I think, the best militarists that we have. So going back to her ultimate, so she does a mark... And if the enemy dies, restores energy fully. So again, she can cast her ultimate again as soon as an enemy dies with a mark. So definitely one of one of the future figures that you should watch out. Especially if you need um, this kind of nuisance in your team. So as you can see here, she has a mortar. A purple mortar at that. And a purple heart. Nice design, by the way. Um, let's take a look at her 2D art. So similar to the art, has a mortar, mortar and a similar stance to her 3D art. Okay, so let's move on to the last militarist in this list. Okay, so here is our last militarist, which is Hatsune Miku. So she's with uh, Let's Red and she is a tier. Her attack is increases normal damage while her ultimate, guys... It attacks three random enemies, increase increase damage to summons as well. Each time a summons appears, there's a 60% chance to activate one dance attack, me, which means the dance attack is actually included in her ultimate, so there's a chance that uh, it at activates again. Okay, and her passive, guys, is a 30% chance of coordinate attack with an ally, so... As um, your ally attacks, she attacks as well. So, and also her special increases damage dealt by 15% when there are no enemies around. So, again, another kit uh, for militarist and another, you know, worthwhile um, uh, ranged figure that you you can summon for i think she she is going to be definitely be good moving forward hopefully we get these uh future figures soon because again um at this point after playing for i think a week or more i i feel that i need more figures right now okay let's take a look at her 2d art and her 2d art really melts me and re is really really good okay so again these are our militarist guys so we'll move on to the last um category which is going to be your specialist okay first up for our specialist is going to be vivian so vivian is tenma and she is eight tiers so attack is going to be an additional damage every three normal attacks so applies to a mark to target and on one random enemy next is going to be her ultimate so removes one debuff from all allies and randomly attacks enemies four times okay so next is going to be our passive normal and ultimate attack that destroys a mark deals additional 80 percent crit damage so again look at how much damage can one girl deal and the last is going to be her special increases damage dealt to normal attacks and targets by 12 percent okay so for her design this is actually the most the, the simplest design that i've seen so far of the bunch with her boomerang in tow so let's take a look at her um at her 2d art so pretty spectacular very simple and I like uh, the way she is, uh, you know, just armed with a boomerang and um, nothing else. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next specialist. Okay, guys, so for our next specialist, this is Raphael. So she's called Raphael uh, for a girl. And she's with Let's Red and she is a tier. So attack is just uh, increased normal damage. Then for her ultimate grants protection to foremost ally increases damage and attack speed by 22 percent her passive guys is going to be after four normal attacks deals another attack for five times and also has the possibility for a stun and her last um, uh, skill which is her special skill increases damage dealt to normal attack uh, to normal attack targets by 12 percent okay so again um this one is a little bit more sophisticated with uh, a painting and a lot of detail in the base with um, you have flowers there and you have um, paint 
lying around. So let's take a look at her 2D art. So I like her 3D art more because there's more detail in the base, but uh, this actually looks good anyway. So as you can see here, the base has an easel and a box. So nice art, nice detail to go with um, the figure that is attached to it. Okay, so our last uh, um, specialist or figure for this video is going to be Ka Kao Kao. That is his name. Okay, ninth, uh, nine, ninth, nine, eight tier. Okay, that is actually his brand. Um, his attack is going to be additional damage for poison targets. So he deals a lot of poison, guys. His ultimate is poison's enemy reduces healing effect and HP absorption. So beware when you are facing him. Increases damage by 38% as well. And as you can see, passive uh, is a 20% chance to inflict 100% damage to poison targets and also stuns his targets. And um, also for his special increased damage dealt to, no uh, to normal attacks by 12%. I think he's one of, I think the best, um, uh, what they call this specialist here with poison. Um, I think I've never seen his kit and I like it because um, he deals poison and really, really sucks out the ability to heal and for HP absorption. Again, very nice kit to have and very good hero to have, especially if I think you're handling a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of uh, or a horde of enemies on the other side. I think this would be very beneficial, especially if you have the ability to have increased damage. And I'm sure that poisons also increase dam uh, has damage over time as well in terms of the poison. So let's take a look at his 2D art. Uh, by the way, the base here looks great. So it's, it looks like Cracked Earth. Um, same here, by the way. So the base looks insane and he has minions with him. Um, I hope that his animation also has minions during the time you are playing him. So hopefully, guys, you have um, you know stuck this far in this video. And hopefully you liked um, all these reviews for future figures that I did. Um, if you're still here, again, please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And also, guys, don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any figure fantasy videos. And also, guys, don't forget as well, the last thing is put a like to, to, to this video if you find this entertaining. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.